The following episode is dedicated to our loyal listeners in Harney Old Road, Malvern Wells, England. Welcome to the Stays on Jazzbot. I'm Jimmy Taka, and uh, we're, we're back, back in the, back in the hood. Bit of a short form uh, episode, is it? <laughs> well, usually compared to the long form one, which is jumping the turnstile. I know, but that 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 almost says that we're prepared. Like you know what's coming in the episode. Yeah, and we don't. <laughs> no, we do not. <laughs> we do not. That's that's one thing for sure. Yeah, you gotta you gotta think fast on your toes when you're in the steeds. You yeah, know? you never know what's you never know what's coming. We just don't know where it's gonna go. Yeah, uh, where we're coming from. Yeah, what we're gonna say. Um, yeah. Yeah. So keep vamping until the uh, music ends. I vamping guess. is vamping. The what we're doing. version of glamping. Yeah, it's what we're doing now. We're um, it's not vaping. Okay. We're, oh, it is. We're blowing smoke. Blowing smoke up their ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> vamping. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit more, a bit like vaping. What, what, what's the flavour? What's the preferred? What's our flavour? What's, what's the, fla- yeah, what's our flavour that we blow up the ass of the listener? The listener. Okay, well, at the moment in the studio because we have been locked in here for quite some hours now. I'm smelling bo. Okay. <laughs> it's mainly wafting up from me. Eau de bo. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. All right. Um, yeah. yeah. Ooh, that'd be a tough one to have, the first drag of that vape. Oh, yeah. It's an acquired taste. <laughs> <laughs> it's like those smelly cheeses. Ooh. Not smelly cheeses. Not smelly cheeses. But I bet you Jesus Not was smelly. Mm, Back then. He might have been, yeah. 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 There's, no, a, there's a beard. What do you use for deodorant? <laughs> what do you use? So, um, salt and um, soil. Oh, it's lavender. Spittle. It's uh, patchouli. <laughs> Is it patchouli oil or like lavender oil under <laughs> the... Under <laughs> the... <laughs> <laughs> and then the old <laughs> it's a, it's a uh, shower in a bush <laughs> <laughs> yeah or a bush yeah yeah okay. shower in a flower yeah okay uh, alright let's get on with it let's So now the kids are all back at school, Tim. You're uh, mm. looking forward to Easter in a week's time or so. Mm, yes, we're back into the bloody... Or maybe it's already home. been Easter by the time this comes out. Oh, yeah. Hello, everybody. I'm the Easter Bunny. <laughs> it's June the 12th. What? It's the middle of summer, big ears. Oh, God, oh, sorry. Well, you never bloody know, do you? You don't know. And <coughs> what, what do you think? It... I don't know you should spend a whole year trying to entertain. Mm. Now yeah. we're going to go into another bloody two weeks of entertainment time. Ugh. Are we yeah. doing? Are we doing camping? Are we? Gonna, what are we going to do this time? Because it's Easter doing? again. I think there's a. I think there's a house party on the brew. All right. Yeah. At uh, you know one of our friends' places. All right. Well, do don't blow up the spot. Yeah. No, I won't. Yeah, no, um, I remember that. Oh, that's going to be actually on the podcast anniversary, isn't it? I think it is. This actually. might be. Oh, this might be the Easter this one, episode. This could be. Is it? Oh god. So April the first. Happy Easter, everyone. Uh, uh, April Fool's Day is the podcast uh, release date anniversary. The day we released. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it is. And uh, Easter. What a hell of a time. It's supposed <laughs> to be. It's supposed to be. Uh, holidaysies. Mm. But um, it's a bit of an oopsie daisy with the old holidaysy. Well, yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know anyone that's made any plans. I mean, I guess there's the camping things. Are you allowed to go to the foreshore? Yeah, where's that? Is it next to the three shore? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't to... know if you are. It's, uh, I hate going out there, to be honest. I yeah, don't, I don't like. I don't. I don't well, like the outside. Well, Cass anymore. said. Cass said because I, I, I'm feeling a bit um, surrounded. I feel a bit cornered. Okay. Uh, yeah. Just at my property at the moment. The uh, property. Yeah, just there's too many doggos around. There's too many neighbours. I'm starting to get a little um, claustrophobic. and bucks me in. Okay. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> and Cass said, "Well, let's go camping on Easter." And I said, "Well, look. I mean, we've, we've we need we needed to plan this weeks eons ago. Eons ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because it's because uh, what it's do you do with the dogs? Is, is it, it online? Do we have to bloody book in in advance? Do we do, do we have to be on a bloody uh, what's it called? A list, a, a list. watch list. Yeah, they pick you out of a hat. 
Cassie mm. can go, but you can't. Because I have to stay in the in the, within the borders of the, of the Victoria. Mm. Mm. Anyway, so I don't know. It's just a, another another holiday for your kids. I just don't think it's necessary. Oh, the school holidays. School no, no, holidays. No, 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 no. We've had. We've had. I, I reckon they should just go to school twenty four seven. Uh, seven days a week. I think they should hold everyone back a year. Yeah. Great. So I've got to do another year. Yeah, well, you still leave at the end of your turn. Yeah, but you're, <laughs> but you're 43 years old. <laughs> go get an apprenticeship, you mug. Yeah, why don't you? Uh, well, what are they going to go to? Ah, uh, we... yeah, you've got to be hands-on. Hands-on? Yeah. So massage... Um, digging holes. <laughs> oh, right, that kind of hands-on. Yeah. Or, or programming, coding. Oh, yeah. What is? What's, I don't know what coding is, but yeah, I'll, one zero zero one. Am I right? <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> I'll be. I'll not be sitting behind a computer screen, type and typing in numbers. No, it just seems one. very, very boring. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Three, three, four, one. Oh, do you know what we could do? Mm-hmm. Heard an ad for the state government saying uh, there's twenty thousand fruit picking jobs. Yep. Um, have at it. How about the fruit picking? How about job? the fruit picking jobs? Um, maybe that's a good way to harden up the kids this Easter. We're right. Send them off to the bloody fields. We're, we're, to, we're out picking. Yeah. In the hot, hot heat. Picking and digging. Yeah, mainly picking. Okay. <laughs> and lifting. Yeah. And awesome. climbing. But and, uh, yeah, count count the. Uh, do you get paid? Do you get paid per pick, or do you get paid per pound? I think it's per pound, and I think if you're a fast worker, you you go up the ranks. Right. You get the best trees. Right, you get the best technique. You get up on the brand because I know I'd be like, yeah, I'd be, I'd be doing bulk apples. Mm, there's got to, there's got to be a. It's got, is there a machine that shakes a tree and catches them all, all the, all the fawns? <laughs> Sounds like a not a bad option, but um, you break a lot of trees that way, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, and then all the ones that aren't ripe. Yeah, you got. Ah, listen to me fantasizing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Easter. Well, 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 let's see what we do. We'll keep. Keep them posted. Yeah. Or we'll see what you do. Invite me if you can. Oh, yeah, you'll may be invited. Um, as will the listeners. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're going down that road, are we? Might as well. Mm. <coughs> oh, you're a bit scratchy in the throat. I guess it's off to the doctors. Or is it? Or is it? Well, uh, a friend of ours... I won't even mention him because you can't mention anybody these days. Because if you, if you like, you Come know, on. have you ever seen, have you seen anyone spit in the last two years? I haven't seen anyone gob out a window in two years. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's one good thing to come with the COVID. Yeah, sure. Of the martial law, I should say. But you're not hearing anybody sneeze, or, or somebody sneezed the other day. Um, sneezes naughty. or snozed? Um, sneezes, sneezes. Did, did the multi sneeze? A chew, a chew, a chew, a chew, a chew, oh. mm. right? Which is a, which is a um, very common sneeze mm. about town. And as as she finished her last sneeze and she walked past, I went, "Bless you!" And she went, "I haven't got COVID." <laughs> <laughs> and we both laughed. Mm-hmm. But you just don't you don't hear sneezes. You're not even hearing. <clears throat> <clears throat> I wonder if uh, movie, you do on this movie podcast. Theaters, movie theaters. Do you think they're going to be? Um, no, it's over. No, no, you're, you're, they're out of capacity now. You can go back to the movies. Well, I just don't know. But are you going to hear people clearing their throat the whole time? You know, you like, like you put up with the rustling of the um, of the popcorn. You put up with the slurping of the um, yeah, but not a bloody, drink. not a cough or a clear clear. Yeah, th- if he's doing that the whole time, <coughs> um, you're going to say something. Right? Perfect sample is uh, let me clear my throat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Um, so, uh, off to the doctors. Yeah. And this friend of ours got a little bit of a scratchy throat. Thought, fuck, if I'm going to get off work, new certificate. So I'm going to have to go. And he doesn't want to go. Off to the doc docs. All right. How does he feel about the whole COVID stuff? Is he like... It's not so It's not so much that. He's, he's, he, he bought a mask to wear... Because that's what you do at the doctors now, you know. That's that's probably yeah. one appropriate place to wear a mask. I guess because so, yeah, yeah. you don't want to you don't want to catch anything else that anybody else has got, COVID or other, right? It should have been like this right from the start. Where yeah. you walk into a doctor's office, you get your gloves, you get your rubbers, and you get your mask. Go <laughs> just just yeah. for just for the visit. Yeah, yeah. Because the doctor is the, the the link to every other sick cunt. 
<laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so, you get sick in hospital, you get the streptococci. Yeah, you, you do get, get the... Uh, you, get the <laughs> you get the ninja, you get the, the man. Yeah, you, get you the, do, you do. You get all that. But um, So he's gone in there with the scratchy throat, and now they, they get you to fill out a form and say, have you got any of the following symptoms from these 17 different illnesses yes. that, that, that basically encapsulate yeah. every side effect? Headaches. Does your eyes yeah, are a headache. Your eyes are fuzzy in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I am a bit <laughs> scratchy in the morning. I feel a bit turned, like I've been sleeping for two yeah. hours. Uh, scratchy throat, runny nose, blah, blah, bling, bling, blah. And you're forced to tick or cross. Yeah. You know? Um, and the second they saw that he had, you know, a, th- uh, a sore throat, they're like, ah. Uh, hit, the, hit the emergency button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got one. We got one. We got one. We got one. Um, and uh, she's like, nah, 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 nah. Can't come in here with, with a sore throat. Can't come in here with the, with any of the following symptoms. Um, and plus to ask. Um, so, so you're going to have to leave. And as she's got the Glen 20 cans spraying the air. And he's like, so what am I supposed to do? Like, go bloody, see the doctor, mate. Got to see the doctor. And she's like, oh, no, you can, you can, um, the two options, go and have a test. Mm. Oh, you drive through test. You drive through test at a car park. (laughs) The most (laughs) medical place of all. Yeah, so clean. So (laughs) sterile. And, uh, yeah, because I've, I've done many pisses in a car park. Just, amongst just, <laughs> just other so, things. Amongst other things, right. And let's get a test, though. Um, testing one, two. Testing, testing, Tell testing it. station one, two. Testing. <laughs> um, or you get a doctor's certificate and you come see the doctor. Mm. How does that work? So I've got to have ID before I get ID? Yeah, but I don't. How am I going to have ID if I haven't got any ID? Right. We've all been in that situation. So he went home and he's dead. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's dead. He's, <laughs> he's got um, <laughs> legionnaires. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, look, it's, it's the start of, sick, it's the start of winter. Uh, he's got kids. Yep. You know, it's it's everyone's mingling again. So you're going to get some sniffles and some grots yep. going on. No flu, though, because the flu's over. Flu's gone, flu's yeah. Flu's gone, which is well done. We, oh, we did we, it. We fucking did it. Oh, we did it. Yeah, who knew? Um, they did. All, all you had to do was wear a hanky on your face <laughs> for 24 hours a day. I know how you feel about hanky. Hankies are disgusting. Okay, it's, so a, w- it's a petri dish. What's, of what's a- your other option? Shove tissues in your mouth? I mean, come on. Single-use tissues, throw them on the street. <laughs> yeah, which, which I saw today. I dropped the kids off, and overnight, either a bloody possum or maybe even the wind has blown mm. over a somebody's bag. That was probably perched on the top of their bin. You know, you can't oh, quite no, jam it's the it crows, in. Tim. It's the crows getting so, there. So they flip the lid open because yeah. it's, it's accessible, and then they tear away mm. in the bags, right, looking for shit or something. But it was a tissue bag, and there's fucking like there's Kleenex from here to Hades. Yeah, you sure it was a? Um, I don't know. It could have been colds. my babies. <laughs> it could have been his babies. <laughs> <laughs> spank, spank tissues. Spank a chief. Spank a chief. Mm. Um, st- for, oh, just Kleenex everywhere, yeah. and like we're talking, like council's going to have to get out there. And would, is that is that a mo job? Would you just do me, me old confetti? No, trick? don't do the confetti trick with the tissues because then you're just spreading that. Okay, spreading that everywhere. COVID confetti. Yeah, well, like you, you got to get to those tissues before it rains. Confetti. Like, yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> got, to get, got to get to it before the water hits the, uh, dissolves the no, tissues no, 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 into no, the grasslands. That, that, we, we were there. That's where we were. That's where we were. Mm, wet, wow. wet Kleenex. Mm. Scrunched. Mm. Used. Mm. You know. You know they've been used. Mm. So, you know. Anyway, so you can't go to the doctors. Just let, let that be, let this be your um, yeah, so medical if I, if I wanna, mm-hmm. If I want to get a doctor's certificate. Yeah. Because um, I've just taken the day off because I don't have any work. That's why I'm in the studio with you. Yeah. Um, well, what this, do I have to do? Do I have to call okay, up? Okay, this is what you've got to call do. up one eight hundred sixty nine sixty nine sixty nine sixty nine. Talk to doctors <laughs> online. <laughs> Doctor Wank. Um, so what you got to do is do it like you said. Do it online. You go on there. You get um, I don't know like um, 
doctors for you at home, like mass yeah, for you right. at home. Yeah, mass, yeah. <laughs> when you get the Holy Eucharist and he pushes it up against the, uh, the cameraman and you, put, and have you, a lick. Yeah, you just lick the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Peace be with you. And also with you. And with licking the screen, you get the, the same dryness that you do when you have a Holy Host. <laughs> it's true. It's, it's like, exactly why so dry? Situation. But um, doctors, for you at, doctors for you at home. Mm. And you, you dial it in, you, you know. Now, how can we trust these bloody doctors? Well, this is what is I want to know. Like, what if like, I, what? Oh, doc, doc, I've got a sore throat. And they're like, yeah, okay, give us a look. And then what? you got to go right up to your camera. <laughs> That's a whole other category of internet. Yeah, sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? He's That's like, a POV. I can't quite, can you just go up a bit? Because I can't quite see inside of your mouth. Um, also, it just looks black and wet. Also, take... Take your shirt off. Yeah, yeah. What are you, what are you wearing? You can see what I'm wearing. Um, yeah. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we've talked on another episode. It's like, how, how do you trust your your person in authority just because they're wearing the, the suit? Yeah. Just because they're wearing the uniform. That's right. Is like, he going to go? Is he going to go to the effort and um, dress up his background? Mm. Like, what if you get on the Zoom call and he's he's done one of those? Do you know how you can put the picture on behind her? Mm. He's, oh, he's just put a picture of a doctor's office? Yeah. He's at home, bloody. He's at home. He's just got one of those stupid lab coats on. <laughs> yeah, I oh, know. That would be... Yeah, that's it. You just put your, your Zoom... But then he takes the lab coat, coat off during these off hours and he's got, like, a T-shirt that's... Um, <laughs> Bintang. Oh, uh, no, pink. Tua. Oh, 90, yeah, I'm yeah. A, no, I'm a pinky. <laughs> and, and she, he goes to every pink concert yeah, or right. something. Yeah, he follows her around. Yeah, 2014, 15, 16, Brisbane, Melbourne. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, well, I don't I don't want to take advice from this guy. No. Honestly. No. Do you have to uh, mix the songs together? I just want you to play the original. <laughs> that's what that's what that's the kind of people that come up to me at parties. Yeah. Can you play something from the radio? Well, that, that's the kind of shit me when you go to a gig and they squeeze like three or four of their really big bangers into one montage yeah a melody med- medley <laughs> yeah and it kind of shits me is it a little bit <laughs> I say, a fuck little you bit too. fuck you too it's called a medley it's, it's <laughs> a, a, a no mix. they used to call it a medley it's now mm. yeah it's, it's mixed. just it's mixed. mixed it's a mix tape mix up mix tape <laughs> Um, all right, oh, well, well, there you go. So you can't go to the doctor. Don't go to the doctor. Don't, don't request songs from DJ and um, oh. bloody don't buy the tour t-shirt. Mm. Just don't do it. Nah, no, nah, it's, it's too uh, too much so information. It's, like, it's virtual vir, vir, virtue signal. Virtue signal. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. like, this is what I'm into. It's like yeah, you know, stickers on the back of your car. It's it's not just the Metallica t-shirt. It's the flanny. It's the army pants. It's the mm, uh, mm, <laughs> mm, bloodstone. Yeah, it's it's the uh, <laughs> eyebrow to eyebrow to tip <laughs> of tattoos. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, very good. Yeah, good. Off to the doctor. We've done it again. Yep. It's been a busy day, ladies, and there is a war on after all. And while the men are overseas bravely fighting the Kaiser, and you're left alone with the little ones bunched up together in a homemade foxhole, well, you'll feel much better after a Dr. Beechworth's tonic. Dr. Beechworth tonic is packed with necessary amphetamines to help you buck up and push through your pesky female emotions of grief and loneliness. So tell ho to your nearest chemist and insist on Dr. B's Tonic. The Association of Non-Research and Irresponsible Practices approves and highly recommends Dr. Beechworth Tonic. It's a classic standard. Uh, <laughs> bloody community concerns. Concerning communities. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Haven't, just, haven't been there for a while. Well, it's the old, it's the old round up, round down scenario where you, you're paying... They go nine ninety nine, Freddy, um, Freddy, twenty six nine nine ninety nine. Drive away. Yeah, no just, more to pay. This, are you sure this is of two thousand and twenty one? Yeah, this, look, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter when it is. It's um, it's a it's a timeless discussion about the round up, round down. Mm. Right. What do you prefer? I, I prefer the round down. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Pay pay less. I thought you, that about you. you. Pay less. Yeah, I thought about that. Um, but a man recently uh, took a supermarket chain to court, allegedly being cheated out of eight cents mm. because the checkout clerk rounded down the change he was owed. Yes. So it's still round down, 
but just the change. But here's here's what you do in that scenario. You yep. you, you obviously got a customer that's uh, getting riled up, riled up. So just go to the uh, where they sell the stamps and go here. Here's a forty cent stamp. Yeah. Well, he considered he considered the uh, the round down, or the round up, I guess. Uh, a it's just a system of cheating. Yeah. So it was a bloody community concern. Yes. He's, he's just like, no, it's not about the eight cents. Mm-hmm. It's not about that. It's about the eight cents. Uh-oh. It is about that, but it's not about that. It's about you guys have got a policy of cheating. I don't, I don't want to fucking shop here. And get me, yeah. Get me wet wipes. <laughs> Who takes on that case? Is he representing himself? I think so. It's it's one of these oh, things where we're talking. What are we talking? You lose. You're, you're down twenty five grand. Yeah, it's to start. <laughs> yeah. All the days you have to the put, consultations. Yeah, yeah. Eight hundred bucks an hour. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to, just to get your eight cents. I'm I'm tipping he has a lot of money, or yeah. or it's one of these joints that um, no win no fee. Yeah, no win no fee. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> On uh, consignment, what is it? Yeah. On, um, on, on. We're talking about pro bono. You may have heard that word before. Maybe you haven't. No win, no fee. Yeah, okay, yeah. On that, yeah, that'll do. Um, yeah, but uh, uh, it's taken the justice system too far. It's like do you think like, it's taken the justice system too far, or is it time that the supermarkets have gone too far? Oh, it, this it, eight cents. A sign. it is a sign that they've taken it too bloody far. Yeah, because he's he's um, this guy is doing his numbers, mm. right? He's on a tight budget at the moment. And uh, mm. I'm just assuming here. And it's the principle of the thing. Because he's, he's thinking the big, the long run is that... They're, they're doing this to everybody. Yeah. They make millions of fucking dollars yeah. out of me yeah. and the people I'm standing up for. Basically, Batman. Basically. Basically. Um, I think it's uh, one of these... Um, I think it might be more of an American problem with they're still using the quarters and the ones and the twosies. Oh, one right. senses one and two cents. Cents. Yeah, you coppers. Yeah, we got rid of them a long time ago. So, I yeah, I don't understand I why do they... I miss those little guys, though. Yeah, I do. But I don't understand um, <laughs> why they still price it, like you're saying, uh, a dollar, a dollar it. ninety-eight. It's like, um, it's no. like, it's like you've made your, you've made your money. Ones and twos, mm. you've made your money, mm. so you're out. No gig for you anymore, yeah. right? You're you're out. We're going to get another. We're going to five cents moving in. He's, yeah. he's moving in. He's silver. He's way more shiny than you guys. Mm. Um, and then they go on and they use the brand ones and twos oh, they in all their pricing. <laughs> so they're still they're, they're, they're like we're just basically we're cutting you out of the equation. We're using you, yeah, because you're handy. No, we're still we're using your likeness. Yeah. Intellectual property of ones and twos. Mm, you're doing your ones and Just twos. Just price it 95 cents or a round dollar. Yeah, you're but not we, fooling but, me. But, but, you, but you are because all the uh, all the all the consumers they say 9.99 and it's a deal. They say 10 bucks and they're like, yeah, that's mm. 10 bucks. Yeah. You see, well, I so see. It's, it's on us. It's on us. Unless you fight. <laughs> for eight cents before you know it hey man they first they take your eight cents and we said nothing yeah then they came for our 20 cents yeah and we still did nothing yeah like five five cents your, your days are numbered five hey all coin cash. all cash coins. cash oh so you would so say you got your t- your 50 and your one dollar and your two dollars comfortable up the top right mm-hmm. as coin in the coins but what if they just say no more coins no more coins yep. yeah yeah because they carry covid yeah, yeah cash. Coin, coin vet. Oh, you saw that? <laughs> like the all the drive-through places during the cash. Uh, yeah, yeah, no cash, no cash, no cash. We prefer if you don't use cash. It's yeah. like, well, that's what it costs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go, community concerns. Yeah, there you go. It's much, much to think about. Fight, for, fight for your rights. Yeah, <laughs> fight for your eight cents, your ones and twos. In a time before time. In a world. <laughs> I'm just, look, 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 this is kind of a spooky corner. I know, uh, I know in one of the previous weeks we probably said we we're going to do um, horror movies, but I haven't watched any since then, so. Because <laughs> you've got to find time, you got to find time with horror movies to take time out. Well, it's got to be night. Mason, it's got to be night time. Well, night time, yeah. Uh, Mason can't watch it. Mm. And, or uh, Vanessa doesn't want to watch it. 
And so we're gonna like we're gonna set up the studio like a little horror house. No, that's pretty know. cool. I like that. It's cool, but um, and Mason has a whinge and goes, "Oh, I want to watch something with you. Let's watch Pokemon." Oh, yeah. Like, oh, fuck. Let's watch the horror. Nine, nine hours of someone <laughs> playing Minecraft. But uh, this week I'm just gonna you know uh, go go on to our. It's a, it's a bit ghostly. Yeah. Ghostly. But, you know, all right, always at op shops buying dead man's shoes. Yes. And dead men tell dead man no lies. And, I, and I, I, I often have the thought, did the man die in these shoes? Or is this, you know, was he wearing these shoes every day of his life, thus absorbing his entire, you know, essence <laughs> of who he is and haunting the shoes? Ah, uh, so... You know, yeah, so okay. I'm bringing all these haunted items into my, into my house. Sure. Um, could I expect... Um, sounds of walking down my hallway. Oh, Do you know in, what I'm saying? In like the shoes. Weird, weird walking. Because yesterday, yesterday, I don't know if it was the neighbours. Don't usually hear the neighbours shouting, fuck this, <laughs> fuck that, fuck you. <laughs> but it's uh, all in, um, in uh, Cantonese. Yeah. Um, and, but yesterday, we're waiting for Ness to get home from, from, um, from work. And, Usually, because we usually have the, the curtains closed at the back door, because I don't know why people come up and fucking turn around that corner and peer and ride at me on the bloody couch having a snoozo, or who, who bloody knows, right? Um, curtains are closed, and um, bloody, we're, here, we're hearing footsteps. We think Ness is coming to the back door. And a couple of times, Mason went, Is Ness, is mum home? Is mum home? I'm like, No, no, no. And uh, we kept hearing thumping. Now, I wasn't sure whether the neighbours have got a new floor. Yeah. A uh, new set of bloodstones. Something that... like that. But we're hearing footsteps from bloody... from Here from, to Hades. From, yeah. But all outside. And it's not in the roof. Uh, we occasionally get the old scratchity dashity in the roof. Yeah, that's just the rats. Yep. But, or uh, Trevor. Yeah, it could, could, could be, be Trevor, Trevor or an ex-boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, no, an- no answer to that. I, and I just couldn't pull myself off the couch to fucking go and investigate. It mm. just couldn't be fucked. I thought, oh, it must be just ghost shoes. Yeah. Um, you know, the usual ghost shoe. <laughs> but uh, there's there's a lot of people are experiencing the same the same bloody thing. Like, so you're saying that this guy, let's call him Wayno. Yeah. Had a pair of Dunlop volleys. Yeah. And, you know, everyone knew every time you saw Wayno coming up the street, 100%, he's got his gear on. He's got his gear on. He's he's got got his his Dunlop volleys. He's got his socks. Which are now relatively black. Socks up to his knees. (laughs) Oh, and when you see Oscar Rooney's um, Shelto shoes, I'm like, mate, they're like 50 bucks, bro. Let's go and buy another pair. Right. The shoes that I live and I die in. Yes, and, and so I will haunt. So that's what, I'm, that's what I'm getting at. You're you're saying that the essence of Wayno has dripped through the volleys, the volleys, yeah. and then you go his buy, campus. you go go buying his dead man shoes. Yeah. at the bloody Vin- St. Vinnie's. Give him a scrub up. Does um, regular soap or do I need ghost soap? I think you need uh, priest soap. Oh, holy water. Yeah. Uh, scrub them in holy water. Holy water. You know, and like, some sacred so- soap. <laughs> <laughs> or is that just the genre of techno? Um, uh, you know, a, thr- a thrift shop in North Carolina. They recently sold $1,000 hand carved furniture set. Came with a warning of a haunting activity reported by its previous owners. So they've done the old. That's so, pretty much the gist of the story, right? So Where somebody furni- bought something. And the owner said, That there uh, couch set you bought there is haunted. <laughs> There's got a ghost that you see the people that you don't want that set. Are you sure you want that set? Why do you want to go down that road? <laughs> you know what I mean? What, what, so, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> the previous owners of this here couch. haunted couch. Haunted couch, right? Bought it back and said, Horrible, horrible things have happened on this couch. <laughs> and I some, would say some unspeakable, <laughs> some totally unnecessary. Um, so oh, yeah, well, you're blowing my mind because I didn't know that items could be haunted. I knew I knew that 
items oh, could well, be well, hit off the uh, hit off the bench by a ghost. But haunted. I don't Once know. Once it's you, touched by a ghost, it's haunted. I don't know. You could just haunted like go cups, go go to go, doors. go get a bloody coffee mug from the. No, well, you don't expect to go buy a ghost when you buy a pair of Dunlop lollies, right? For two two dollars fifty, you don't expect to cut uh, for it to come with a curse. But what they're saying is that that people, even with the curse, have gone. Nah, I'll take it. I'll take my chances. And then within a matter of months, dead. No, returning it uh. for somebody else to get fucking cursed by. Mm. So how do I know that my Dunlop lollies wasn't owned by a dead man who cursed them, but he brought them to the op shop. Because he, he was cursed. Shares, and he was cursed. So where now, does the, who was the first Kirsty? <laughs> right? And can you buy a new yes, item? Yes, from the shop. No, yes, no, you, brand can, new, you don't have to go to the up shop. Oh, a brand new <laughs> item off the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> They've got a thing called lay-by. Do they? Yeah, they've they still, still got like lay-by, yeah. Do they? Yes, but can, can an off-the-shelf brand new product be haunted? Ah. Only by the person that made it. So if your T-shirt's made in Bangladesh as slave labour, yep. I think your T-shirt can get haunted. Okay. Right? If yep. it's not ethically made. Yeah, all right. Yeah, uh, yeah, but, yeah. But I think your couch, your... your we got uh, we got to check the um, the union uh, details at the ghost factory <laughs> <laughs> to see if so uh, they're being treated badly and they're like... Yeah. Cursing this and cursing well, that. A lot of no people. more cursing. This right? <laughs> all right, meeting. <laughs> meeting. Union meeting. There's been a lot of cases of curses. <laughs> it's given the bloody union a bad name. Ghost union. I don't know. You said too much. Um, but, uh, you know. I don't think you want to take that there couch. It's going to come with. Was this, great uh, was this couch only $7? No, it was $1,000. So even. What, there's, what they're also saying later on is that um, people are actually, like, flocking towards the haunted items. As like a sweetener, yeah. To see, like, so the, so you got a talking point. You're like, you see that couch you're sitting on there? Totally haunted. <laughs> yeah, don't sit on that. Don't sit on that cushion. That one's wet. Um, but over there, that's where where you're sitting. That's where she got plunged to death. Who? <laughs> You know. Did you say plunge, plunge it? Plunge it. <laughs> plunge it. Yeah. Plunge, that's, that's how plunge you, it. that's how you haunt a coffee maker. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you yeah. plunge her to death. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, God. All right, so did you get me that coffee? You did? No, we've smashed another one, dude. Oh, jeez. All right, we're a few down. All right, uh, so... Some ghost is drinking out of my cup because I don't remember <laughs> drinking that much coffee. <laughs> Who's been using my ghost cup? Mm. Uh, all right, <clears throat> there you go. More more mysteries to come. Maybe yeah. even a movie. Who knows? Mm. Who knows? He's a bloody classic standard for you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Classic um, standard. Well, it's just um, a classic standard because I've been there, done that. I did this years ago. Mm. It's not nothing too bloody fascinating. Remember, I uh, well, I'll tell you. I'll t- I'll read the article Good. to you, and then I'll tell you. Like, yeah. uh, toddler recorded his first music album before he was born. So yeah. I think what they've done is they've got um, sounds from the womb. Yep. Mixed it together, made a mixtape. Yeah. <laughs> yep. The gurgles and the the bleeps and the bloops. Yeah, farts. <laughs> it's called farts by Romsey. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, it's like sounds, and they made a track out of it. Now you remember, the classic standard is that I did that with young Mason. Oh, you when he was goo goo gargaring. Sure. And I made the track. Mm. Uh, you're going to you. insert it in. I'm going to insert it in here because, because like they're taking, they're taking, they're taking the, they're taking the bloody away. liberties. The bloody liberties. Well, who 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 signs off on that? Your first track. Do you get the royalties to it? Does the baby even or the fetus have any say in whether or not it wants to have a profile before it well, even gets it's, born? Well, you get when you're born, you get to say, yeah, no, nah, I don't want to, no, nah, I don't want to drop that track. Just yet. Yeah, this is my old stuff. It. It's it my old it. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> my old, really new stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, the first, um, yeah, it's the first ever LP with sounds from inside the womb. So should I, because I, I had Mason goo goo gargaring as an actual born baby. Mm. Should I have got the? <laughs> yes. The heart, yes. Yeah, but then that's not sounds of the uterus. That's sounds of the bloody uh, machine that's making the bloody sound. See what I'm saying? I think that the, the, 
the machine that's making the sound is the heartbeat. Okay, yeah, 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 I yeah. get that. It's quite rhythmic. But I own the rights to my heartbeat. Yeah, <laughs> and I want to. I want to have full, uh, full rights to it. You okay. Know? Yeah. I, I at least want to be involved in the meeting. Well, as soon as you're born, you, you done. Your contract. Oh, as soon as your contract signed. Yeah, as soon as they assign you your um, birth number, isn't that to uh, when you get your birth certificate, you're officially branded your number. Mm, yes, you do, and and a name, mm. uh, and then you. It's like uh, being born into maritime law, where you come out, <laughs> and you're at the dock, you <laughs> know, and that's the doctor. Yeah, yeah, um, but but uh, basically, as you read the article on, then you just go, oh, it's right, the daughter of Elizabeth Hart, a member of Psy Rock Band, Psychic Ills, okay, a musician, Ivan Diaz. Mathe, um, basically they've they they're using the baby's mm. sounds to sell their albums. Ah, oh, yeah, it's the ones and two cent coin shtick yes. all over again. Yes, they couldn't quite make it just on their own, so we well, put, we put a, we put a baby in me. Yeah, um, don't really care about the baby. It's more about the the sounds. <laughs> it's, it's, it's more, more about, about our next album. Yeah, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, but mm. uh, there you go. So this is a good place to play my fucking song, which I came up with first because I'm a trendsetter. Okay. Right? And I thought I'll record my son doing his first fucking rap. Do it. Yeah. It's probably better than half the raps coming out yeah, now. Yeah, it's sick. It's sick. So here it is. It's retro. Baby. 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 This is why I don't like doing recommendations. Okay. It, it, it got me again. What did? Uh, well, I recommended something on the podcast. Okay. And then on further investigation. It was shit. Well, I shouldn't have bloody given it so much love. Oh, right. You know? Yeah. Because yeah. they ripped them. They ripped someone off. Oh, did they hear yeah. they? Okay. Okay. What's so the, the recommend dash was the detectorist. The detectorist. <laughs> okay. You know the one? Yeah, I do. Where it's British and they're out in the fields metal detecting. Look at the girl. Looking for the treasure. It's bloody brilliant. Treasure eludes them. Yeah. They're was always it, so bloody close to it. Two seasons, like your classic standard yeah, British show. Just yep. get it done in two. Yep. Proper writing, proper acting. Straight on, straight off. Yep. Straight could be, in, could straight be, in, straight out. Could be three, but. The two's better. <laughs> Leave okay. them wanting more. Okay. And anyway, so watching the detect- detectorists and, you know, it, it affected me. I thought it was thought, you know, I, I rolled a tear at the end. Okay. <laughs> and then I bloody put it on the podcast. Oh, sure. watch this. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Anyway, so I was watching. Here we go. This is another recommendation that's going to blow up in my bloody face. Yeah. I was watching uh, on Netflix 
that Australian movie called The Nugget. Yeah. And it's got um it's got Chopper in it. Okay. Eric Bannon then. Okay, okay. Not it, Chopper. No. But... It's got uh the other Aussie guy that's in everything and Dave O'Neill. Right. The comedian. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Very similar, like this, the Nugget was made in 94. Mm. It's a good watch. It's like a classic standard Aussie kind of, you know, yeah. uh, buddy buddy movie with a bit of a twist and a bad guy. And you, yeah. You have to, have to and solve a, it. And a Nugget. Yeah, and, and a Nugget. Um, but it was so similar. Similar. Simula- simula- <laughs> simulation. They, similar. They, mm. Look, the, the uh, detectorists have taken huge... Chunks of ideas, nuggets, if you will, nuggets of ideas. <laughs> like number one, nuggets, mates no. looking for gold. Yeah, well, um, and a strong bird motif. Oh, is running that? through both. Oh. Now the nugget opens up on a cockatoo flying over the valley, as the narrator is saying. All the similar to the bloody. Um, well, the detectorists. It was all about the bloody the robin, mag- the magpies that yeah. were collecting gold in the field. Yeah. And I won't no okay. spoilers, but and I just thought, damn it, they've done it again. Mm. They they've they tricked made, you into they've thinking you. something else was stick and original. Yeah, finally something original. Nothing. No. Nothing is original. Not a nugget of originality. But it does make me want to go out. Get a metal detector. I, well, this is <clears throat> this is the thing. So for here, Christmas, here it is. let me stop. No, let me stop you. <laughs> no, oh, let me stop you right there. Uh, me bloody nephew got a metal detector for Christmas. Mm. Oh, I was bloody jelly. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. So jealous. And um, young nephew, old nephew, young. Mm, see. It's a short. It's short. It's not. It's it's, it's nowhere near as long as me forearm. Right. Right. So it's, it looks like corner like mm. that. See that? Yeah, Viewers? I can see. Yeah, listeners. Yeah, um, and it made me go. Yeah, it's two things. It's two things I wanted to start doing: golf, yeah. and metal detecting. Yes, and quite possibly at the same time, because on the golf, yeah, you'd lose course, a lot of it's coinage. There's by the eighteenth hole, you're pissed as fuck. Well. <laughs> 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 you dropped all your coins. <laughs> Everything. You've 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 bung off. There's got to be treasures out there. You've bunged out into huh? the bushes for gone wedding rings. Ah yes, gents, um, saying fuck this, I'm going out for some golf. They take yeah. off their wedding ring, mm. and well, they, they're never they... going to come looking for it because they didn't want their wives to know they were on the course that yeah. day. They lost their ring. Or they, lost it on the course. They, love. they bug out into the uh, to, you know into out of bounds to have a bit of a squirt and a and a, <laughs> and a shit. <laughs> I, think, I bet you that's happening is that all happen on the, the time. Does that happen on what holes? Does that happen on number you know, two? You know, you've seen it. In hole news, number two. You've seen it. No, yeah, yeah. Either. you've seen it in the news all the time. How many people get struck in the head with a golf ball while they're in the bushes taking a shit? Sneaky <laughs> shit happens all the time. Okay, it's, it's a tale of all the time. It's classic standard. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I really want to. Okay, get... I'll tell you what. Here's the good thing about the metal detector with your nephew. We know from being uncles that. Every single present we've ever bought our nieces or is nephews a piece of shit. <laughs> has come back to you eventually. Yeah. So all the mini Star Wars minifigs that we were yep. buying the, the older boys, yep. like all the Lego. Where is the Lego now, Tim? It's, it's up in, in the, the crawl space. It's in the crawl space. Your fault. So yeah. it was an investment. Okay. Yeah. So you'll get that, um, you know, next Christmas when he upgrades or, or he's never used it in that whole time. It's yours. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Just put dibs on it. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking like I get one of them, one of them fandangled thousand dollar dealies. Mm. It's a like big a investment. Proper one, like the PX thirty eight space modulator. Yeah, <laughs> explosive space modulator. How many uh, how many nails do you need to find? I thought you were going to say how many uh, AA batteries does it take? Oh yeah, definitely. That's, that's that's the ongoing thing, <clears throat> you know. So it's for, for everything, and even me Wii controller for the Nintendo. Yeah, I'm halfway through a bloody trick. On Tony Hawk, yeah, wigs out on me. The they don't have a lithium ion bloody rechargeable no, scenario. No, well, because we're talking two thousand three, mate. Ah, gotcha. If it's, you know, two thousand four soaking wet. Gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> I did want to do a whole segment on um, Xboxing, so maybe we'll get that in the next segment. Cause, Call it Xboxing. Well, I'm Just having, like. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, playing Grand Theft Auto Five, oh, which is yeah. like from two thousand. Are we doing it now? I think we might. <laughs> It's just the dreams, Tim. It's the, they're getting violent. Such a violent game. 
Well, we've done it again. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Man, we, we talked. That thing you said was... Yeah. <laughs> both hilarious and insightful. <laughs> and insulting. <laughs> All uh, in the same breath. Yeah, that's right. Um, thanks for listening to the show. I'm Timmy Tago. Yes, join us again on Jizzboard.